Hello. In this video, we are going to write a solution to this problem here. We're going to write a program that takes a user's age as input. The program should determine if, if let's put the age entered is younger than or equal to 12, between 12 and 65, or older than, older than or equal to 65. So if you're a new programmer, sometimes this can seem really overwhelming. And I always like to suggest you think about the input process output model. So you start by taking your input, then you process that input, which generates some sort of output. Um, so the first thing we need to do is take an input for the age. So I'm going to make a variable called age, and I'm going, to, I'm going to do this incorrectly initially, just to highlight a mistake that students will make often. Input, what is your age? Or let's make it input your age. And now the processing is going to be actually figuring out what the appropriate output is. So for now, I'm just going to make a variable called output. I'm going to do this in a little bit of a longer way than show you how to tighten up the code a bit. And the process is, if I take the age, I need to do an if, an if, an if structure. So if, and I'm going to say if age is less than, it says less than, is younger than or equal to 12, so less than or equal to 12. Well, then output is going to equal you are younger than 12 and or equal younger than 13 because that means you're younger than or equal to 12 right that's an appropriate message elif age now I could do a couple things here but I'm going to say if age is less than 65 we're going to the output's going to be something like you are between 12 and 65 And I could put here, I could put LF age is greater than or equal to 65. We're going to right, make output you are 65 or older. Now, the output finally would be print, and we're just going to print the output. Now, I'm hoping you're scratching your head on a couple things here. And the first thing most glaring issue is with the input because what we're doing here is we're checking this as an integer and the input is being taken and it's being stored as a string so if I come into here and I go into my desktop and these are a bunch of screenshots in here so let's just scroll this down so it's a little easier to see there we go let's clear this so if I say Python 3 and the file is called quick.py input my age and I've put my age is 34 we get an error. It tells me specifically the error is at line 12, and that error is when we reach right here and we try and check. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't line 12. It should say line 13. Yeah, it's better line 13. <laughs> it says, I'm trying to evaluate this line, but I'm assuming this is a string, so it doesn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast this to an integer. We're assuming at this stage that the user is always going to put in an integer. All right. So now let's let's take a look at an efficiency issue here. Well, if you look at these three, these these this if elif elif structure, we see that um, this third structure here, that elif is is kind of unnecessary because if I identify that they are they're not less than or equal to twelve, they're not less than sixty five, that means their age must be older than or equal to sixty five. So instead of putting an elif here, we're far better off to put an else. And the code would work exactly the same, but what that means is you have one less process you have to do, or one less check that the program would have to evaluate. At this stage, this is irrelevant, but when your programs get larger and you're doing millions of, you're running this millions of times, that one little evaluation um, can add up. And then finally, um, I put the output at the bottom here. Let's just save this to make sure it works. We'll run a couple test cases. So let's run this. I'm 10. We're younger than 13. Let's run it again. Let's put 12 because that's the that's the the age that like that pivot point between the next range. 12, you're younger than 13. Let's put 14. You're between 12 and 65. 65. Oh, you are 65 or older. Nope, that's right. Sorry. Um, and let's run one more test. And we're gonna put 64 because this should say you're between 12 and 65. Perfect. 
Now, what I could do here, as opposed to generating an output string and then storing it and then printing it, another option here would be to remove this variable and simply print out the message. And that's going to do the same thing. So this is how people would most likely do it. And, you know, in this, this type of question, I would encourage you to do it this way. And if I save this, and then I run it, you'll see it will work exactly the same. 45, no difference. The reason why I showed you this other way is it really helps drill in that input process output model. Also, as problems get more complicated, sometimes you just need to remember what the result is of the if statement, and then you can do something with that a little later on. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.